Hi, this is Dave, Fellow Running Guide. Welcome to another navigation task. This one comes from the Outer Hebrides. And what we've got to do is compare the photograph and a map, see if we can work out and place on the map where the photo was taken and also what the feature circled is. So there's the map. There's the photo. So we're looking for this water feature circled and where the photo was taken from. So let's look at the photo to start with and see what we can see. We're looking downhill onto a large body of water running left to right. Before the large body of water we've got a series of smaller puddles or lakes or lochs as we call them if we're in Scotland. Um, so from right to left one, two, three, four is the one that we want and then a slightly larger almost triangular shaped one there and then also to the right beyond these lochs is a hill. Now we're above that looking down onto it. In the immediate foreground we've got a slope that's running downhill left to right as we look and then it looks like there's a bit of a drop and maybe a gully or a stream or something like that in there. So what does that look like on the map? So I'll go back to the map. Well here's a large body of water running left to right. There's some lochs before it. So we'll have to be on this higher part of the map looking roughly southwards. We can't be on here looking northwards. Now sometimes that's difficult to try and work that out when we're looking at a, a map on a computer screen because we can't twist it round and orientate it to match the landscape. So to make it easier, I've turned the map round there. So now what's ahead of us on the map is similar to what we can see on the landscape. So high point, downhill, smaller lochs, and then body of water. So higher ground, lochs, body of water. So we've got the map orientated. So now let's have a look in a bit more detail. Well, we've got these locks here, look, so we've got one, two, three, four, and then a larger triangular one. Just beyond the first three locks, we've got this high point here, this one, six, seven, and then beyond it, the water feature. So back to the photo we're looking for that one so one two three that one between the two so it's looking like that kidney shaped little lock is the one that we're looking for the one that's circled on the photograph so that's the easy part of the task done. The harder part is to work out exactly where the photo was taken from. So how are we going to do that? So first of all let's think about elevation. So we've identified this hill here on the map and we're obviously above that we're looking down onto it. So if that's the case, look at the map See, that's 167 height we've got to be above that so let's say you know, roughly 200 meters so if we look at the contours here that's your 50 contour which makes that the 100 that bold one there is the 150 and the 200 one is this contour here that just comes in underneath that 80 grid square denominator so there, uh, so we've got to be above that. So I've just drawn the rough line of the 200 meter contour on there. So 
we can't be below that so we can't be down here we've got to be on this top side as we look at it so that's one thing we can do to work out where we are the second thing we can do is draw some transit lines which means line things up line two or more features up in the landscape so let's do that so let's imagine that we were to walk from the where the photo was taken to the summit of that hill there we'd actually end up walking through this second loch as we look at it so if that was the case we can project a line back to us so there's the summit if we project a line back from the summit there get an arrow on it from there through the second loch then that is roughly not exactly but roughly in that direction so that's pointers up here so could we be on the summit of Benmore well if we look at the tightness of the contour lines here we're on very very steep ground um, if we look at the photograph then the photo shows it's quite slack ground it's downhill but it's nowhere near as steep as those contour lines so we're not as high up as the summit or anywhere near there so that means we've got to be on this slightly flatter or less steep angled ground in here somewhere we can also do another transit line out towards this triangular lock here so let's have a look at that and again imagine us walking in a straight line down the slope down here we'd be walking to the left of that triangular lock as we look at it and maybe on this slightly higher ground just to its left and you see there's this little island just beyond it so again that's pretty much a straight line to where the photo was taken so we can have a look at doing that on the map so there's our little island beyond the triangular lock here's the slightly higher ground just to the left as we look so we put um, an arrow on there coming back to us what we could do from there through there and again puts us roughly in that similar area that we had before so we're looking into this part here so can we see the little stream that we identified on the photograph it's quite hard we've got this here but then it disappears underneath the eight zero um, figure and also it gets a little bit confused with this grid line here but we can actually see it drains down and into here so that is there so if we were to do a rough triangulation with two lines so we said that was the last one that we've done and then the previous one from the summit of there through there it's roughly where those lines cross although it's not entirely accurate due to the, uh, the, the camera lens so somewhere in there I'm actually going to show you or help you um, where it was actually taken from because on here this is the trace of the route that I did that day taken off my watch and overlaid onto um, and kept mapping software so we're somewhere on that red line now the photo was actually taken from that point there just about 270 meters from there looking down to that little kidney shaped lock there so identifying the lock was relatively easy a bit trickier working out where we've taken the photo from but uh, I hope you got it right or learnt something from it if you made some mistakes um, maybe realize oh crikey that was a, a silly thing to do I should have known that um, you know maybe using that elevation there or lining two things up but I hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and look out for more of these navigation challenges bye for now